Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just doing a little vlog. I have a little uh, project that I want to do, so I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, I'm not having a recipe today, forgive me. I'm feeling a little bit like I'm tired of cooking and anyway, it was going to be a... We decided, I decided to order some Domino's. So I got a pizza for my husband coming and some wings and a salad for me coming. So that'll be okay. I've been doing really good with my diet. So um, uh, the wings and the salad are okay. Anyway, so today I want to do a little project. I moved some things around. Oops, sorry. I'm holding the camera with my hands here and my arm get tired. My arms get tired. Anyway, uh, look at my face, you guys. Forgive my, my appearance. This is my, for my little kitty. He clawed me, he got so excited, he wanted some food and uh, he wanted my attention that he went, Argh. Anyway, so, um, that. So I wanna show you what I'm going to do and why I'm going to do it, so <laughs> let me show you. All right, everyone, so I have this section, this is where my cat eats, but see all these packaging for cat food and dog food? You know, I, I had set this up and I, it was kind of cute, but then it's getting like, to be a really big mess because I've got extra stuff there uh, to feed the little kittens. So um, I want to put these bags in something. And I had uh, I had an item that I used to put them in a long time ago, uh, but then I forgot about it. So I had been going online looking for like a like one of those storage bins for, you know, your pet food and they're really expensive but i'm glad that i remembered that i had this one item so i want to show you what it is and where i want to put it because i don't want to have that stuff there see i have this little space right here i had a longer table here that was my this was my coffee bar area and then i had this little uh baker's little tiny baker's rack in another area so i moved some things around put the baker's rack here with a microwave you know that there and put the trash can over here because it was a little too close over here to where the refrigerator is so anyway I have the spot so I'm gonna put that item in there and the stuff that was here let me just show you what the, what the heck right I moved it over here so this is my new little coffee area so I had plates up there took them down uh, I set them in here instead and the matching stuff from temptations oh and then I have these baskets and they came in so handy you guys look I got all my like you know pods for my Keurig and that's coffee and then teas over here. They fit perfectly in here. I was about to go shopping and you know like look for some, and then I remembered that I had those baskets that I I happened to buy them for my closet, but then I I thought oh they're too they're too short for what I wanted in my closet, so I ended up just putting them away. I was going to return them. I never did, and I'm glad that I didn't because they fit perfectly there and I like the color everything. So that worked out perfect. So anyway, the thing that was here, you know, under here, is now over there, and over here is where the baker's rack was. So that all got moved around, so here we go. <laughs> to that spot where I want to put this right here. Look at that. I don't remember exactly when I got it, but I know that I got it before I had my, my youngest son, so it's more than at least 30 years I've had it. And I got it at like a garage, not a garage store, but like a flea market, uh, antique sales kind of place that I went to. It's not an antique. Uh, just look at the back. See, it's like this pegboard stuff. Anyway, I need to fix it up a little bit. I need to do a lot of cleaning. I had it in the garage. It's all dusty and yucky and ooh, I don't know what's in there. Uh, look at, it's opening on the bottom. I got to fix that. So anyway... It's really cute. It says taters, you know, for potatoes. Uh, it's got a really cute rustic look to it, which I like a lot. And see right here, you can see where my animals, my cat has scratched it up. But I'm thinking that I want to paint it white, you guys. I have some, uh, you know, like white house paint that I could use or spray paint. So I'm going to try spray painting it because I'm lazy. And <laughs> But I got to clean it up first. So I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to spray paint it. I don't know if I'm going to decorate you guys, but look at that. Look at my little kitty. That's one of them. There's another one running around somewhere. Okay, yeah, I still got two of them. There. <laughs> look at my, my feet. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to take this outside, clean it up, and then uh, we'll see what I'll do to it. Uh, look, guys, I ordered a Vitamix from QVC. I'm so exci excited. I was going to say exactly. I'm so exactly. But look at the color. It's so pretty. I actually wanted 
um, this cream yellow color or yellow cream. I don't know what it was called. But anyway, I wanted a yellow, but by that time I talked myself into ordering it. Um, and I had already I placed the order. It was sold out. And they were actually live on TV saying, oh, it's just sold out just as I hit, you know, buy or whatever. Anyway, so I ended up switching over to this pretty green. I like it anyway. Uh, and my husband actually likes that color. Look, and it came with these two um, books, soups, and then it says, I don't know what's here, introduction to whatever, and then there's some little recipes here. And then the thing where you push things down, I guess, in through here. But anyway, I'm really excited about that, so I can't wait to see what I can do with that and then show that off. Okay, so I've taken out the uh, box out there, and I've kind of like cleaned it up a little bit. I used a broom and an old towel to dust it. Uh, but this is the spray paint that I have. It's Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. It is a gloss white. I was going to use it for something else that I can't remember what, but I think use it on that um, box that's out there and I have some burlap so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some sort of a decorative touch in the front there with a burlap but anyway that's what I'm gonna use to paint it um, probably won't show you where I'm out there it's so hot to take my camera outside you guys otherwise I would uh, but I'll just go out and give it a couple of coats and we'll see okay so in the meantime here's my dinner <laughs> And there's some ranch uh, dipping sauce. Here's my side salad. Or actually, I ended up ordering, what is this, a garden salad with a garden ranch. Nice. And my honey's pizza. And I ordered him the one with everything. Oops, ooh, look at that. Oh, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Look at how good that looks. Oh my God, it smells so good. I sometimes take the little toppings off and just eat that because, you know, I can't eat the, the crust. But guess what? <laughs> Look at this, you guys. I I just realized that I, I did think about the total and I was thinking, gosh, it's a lot. Look at this. I actually ordered two orders. This is the habanero chicken wings, the mango habanero. But I had put on there that I wanted two of the dipping sauces, but I guess I put two orders of wings, so. I got that, got two orders, but that's fine because you know what's going to happen. My husband's going to see that I've got this extra order and he's going to want to dig into it, but let's see. Is it the same thing? Yep, uh, that's what happened. Okay, I'm not going to get mad because I know that that was my mistake, but uh, you kind of wish it was their mistake and then you can not get charged for it. But anyway, it was mine. That's our dinner. I'm actually going to dig into it, uh, but I made my kitties a... A little bottle where did I put it okay so here's the little uh, bottle that I feed my kittens with and I just put enough there for both of them instead of uh, doing two separate bottles there's the other one he was sleeping right there being a good little boy hello baby hello hello yeah he's he's gonna be ready for this you guys so I need to properly actually feed him so let me do that and I shall be back all right, everyone, so it's actually the next day, and I wanted to show you that I took it outside, and I sanded it down so it's clean. It's as clean as it's going to get. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and take it outside and paint it. Okay, so I'm outside, and I've already given it one coat of uh, spray paint. And as you can see, some of the paint has gotten absorbed because obviously I sanded it. There's a little bug on there. Come on. Uh, I sanded it so some of the paint got absorbed. So obviously I needed a primer before I started painting it. Uh, but then uh, I'm going to give it another coat. But I'm really liking this sort of, you know, whitewashed look about it. So um, I am going to give it another, another coat. And we'll see how that looks. But I... I actually really like this this look right now okay so no matter what I do to it let me know what do you think should I have left it like this <laughs> or gone with another coat okay okay so I just gave it that second coat and I need to let it dry and kind of like the way that it was before but we'll see what happens I see that some of the paint is already getting absorbed like right there so, 
I don't think I'm going to give it a third coat, you guys. That's what it's looking like. Um, I think instead, whatever spray paint I have left, I have to look this up though, and then maybe spray the uh, inside here, the little edges here. I really like that. Okay, and then we're going to decorate it. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. So you guys tell me what you, what you think. Did you like the way it looked with the very first coat? Do you think it needs a third coat? But this is what I'm, I'm going to do. I just want your, your thoughts. Share with everyone. Okay. Okay, so I'm in my craft room and I brought it in and you can see the effects of how the paint uh, in some spots didn't take so well and in others, uh, it looks like it does fine. And I really don't want to paint it anymore. I really liked the way that it looked with the first coat. And I probably should have left it at that, but that doesn't look bad. What do you think? Look at that. You can see the other paints, um, not the other paint, but you can see the wood uh, coming through some spots. And I think, I think that's fine. I mean, I could sand it and give it more of the uh, previous look, but I'm really liking this. And I can see a little bit of where it's a taters right here, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I did spray paint a little bit, you know, the little edges here, a little bit on the inside. I don't really care about that because I'm gonna put some bags in there. Um, of uh, pet food or maybe some other stuff I don't know it's looking really cute but for now it's gonna be the the kitten food and so forth okay so now I want to decorate it and I first I thought I'm gonna cut out a little square of burlap and then like a little rectangle to go up on the top just to decorate it and then I thought I cut out the word home out of some fabric and put it over here but then I was thinking well what do I put up on the top or what do I do so I came to my craft room to bring this in here so I can do some searching for some burlap and I have this nice burlap roll it's a nice wide one it's like a runner uh, with type of roll and I thought about you know like wrapping it all the way around and sorry I'm using my hands here you guys but look let me show you Look how wide it is compared to it. And I felt like, well, it's, it's gonna cover the whole thing like that. So I wasn't too crazy about the idea of, you know, like covering it so much. Maybe if I go like this, you get a better, hold on, let me put this down hold, and hold it up. Okay, so I thought I'd use some tape to hold it up, but uh, it's just not holding. So I'd have to hot glue it or something. But anyway, this is too wide. It would cover like from right about above here all the way to almost right underneath. So I thought, do I want that whole thing looking like burlap after, you know, giving it this sort of, well, I didn't give it to it, it just happened, this finish. And um, I thought, no, I want something less. I want a, 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 a less, I can't even think of the word, a more narrow, there you go. So I have this other one, so I thought this would be great going across the bottom part here. But I want it to go on the side, the front, and then the side because um, since I'm not doing the little wording on here, I think it would look better if I do that. I actually have another trim that I could actually put over that. Then I also have this cute little sign. And I thought, well, geez, how cute would that look right there? I mean, like, I could even put a little nail and hang it there. And that would look cute. Uh, but then what do I do at the top? I don't want the top to be so plain and I don't have another cute little sign or uh, you know I can't really think. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking what if I just remove the little rope from here and I put it up here instead. So I'm going to put that up here. I was going to get glued up here and I'm going to use this thinner, more narrow than that, uh, burlap to wrap around the sides, the front and then the other side. So I'm not going to use this one. And then I'm going to look for another, maybe another little trim to go over this one. So let me get this on there and this on there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hot glue gun. You guys, I'm, I'm in my jammies and I really don't want to get dressed. Here's where I put the tape that didn't work. So anyway, uh, I'm in my jammies, so that's why I'm not in the video. <laughs> and um, I'm being lazy to set up the tripod. So anyway, and I'm trying to hurry up also to get this video up. So anyway, I'm going to put some hot glue, you know, where, I, where I'm going to glue this. The top edge, the bottom and then come across like that again with some more glue at the top edge and the bottom and then on the other side. And then like I said, I am going to remove this little rope hanger from here. 
By the way, I did not pay $9.99. I paid like a dollar something. It was like 80% or 60%. I don't remember how much it was. It was like a couple of bucks. But anyway, so it's probably 60% off. Anyway, so um, I'm going to take this little rope and then I'm going to put hot glue on here so that then I can put it on here. And I think that will look super good because, you know, we'll be looking at it because it's going to be on the floor. And this is like really low on the floor. It's shorter than the table. So I think the sign, if you could see it up here rather than, you know, in front of the box, I think it would be prettier. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Let me glue that on there and put the burlap on there and I'll be back. Okay. So there we go. I've glued the uh, burlap ribbon. I actually started from the very back over here. I put some glue there and then I put glue on the top and on the bottom edge. I got a little bit here I went a little crooked but that's okay and then you know all the way around and then I'll obviously a little bit to the back there and then I've got the sign up here I think that looks really nice gotta open that up it'd be cute if I had a little knob that I could actually put there right like make a little hole and put a little knob but anyway I like it the way it looks right now uh, but I feel like this is a little plain so let me get some trims and I'll try I'll show you what I have Okay, so I have this uh, bit of leftover white burlap ribbon. So I don't mind using it in this because it's not a lot. Excuse me, look at my scratched hands for my kittens. Okay, anyway. So I was thinking this would go nice right here. All the way around, just like, just like this one. But it would go pretty there in the center. Okay, and then I also have this trim and I really love it. It's, you know, these uh, beautifully kind of braided trims here now it doesn't look so great you know just on there like that but if I was to put that one first see let's see let me fix this up a little bit if I was to put this one down and then this one on top I think that would look pretty and then on there of course of course I started to think about it and I really like the way that it looks but I started to think about it you guys and I really love this ribbon and I'm going to use almost like a yard to go all the way around and I had bought this for another purpose uh, my husband really liked it so we got this and we're, we're gonna use it for something else so I'm thinking do I want to waste a yard of that and well not waste it but use a yard of that for this or just save it for the project and I think I'm just gonna save it for the project because I don't know how much I need so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this one on there so give me your thoughts if you think I should leave it plain like that well it's gonna be what it is but what what should I have what do you think I should have done put this white ribbon and then that also on it or just the white ribbon because I'm just gonna put the white one on there so I'll be back so I can show you that okay so I placed the ribbon and I've only I've glued it back here and then just in the corner I brought it around nice and tight and then I just glued it in the corner and I did the same thing when I came over here just in the corner and then of course to the back and you saw the back so there's no glue like right here or over here only because I thought I don't want it to show through here and then look maybe look all messy so I really like the way that looks it's very simple uh, so chime in your your thoughts okay sorry about the camera there or let's see hold on just a minute forgive me my horrible camera work here but or would you like to also add this so so you can get an idea of what you would like to do if you were to do something similar, like if you're decorating some sort of a container or basket. See how that would look? Can you can you can you kind of get an idea? I can, but that's just me. Haha. <laughs> I think a lot of you can too. Okay, so that's it, you guys. That's how I am going to decorate it. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. I really like it. Uh, this is gonna go for my kitty food and such. So let me go show you how that looks. Okay, so there it is, you guys. I think it looks really cute right there. Those are my <laughs> my water bottles. I, we fill them up with water. They need to be filled. And then I have a nice little plant down there. It needs. Uh, I had it on the front porch, but obviously the sun was getting to it, so I brought it inside. My pothos growing crazy, and I've already trimmed. We've trimmed a lot of the uh, vines growing down. But anyway, that's my. What is that going to be for? My pet's food storage. So all I gotta do is get to grab the bag and just, the whole bag. I'm not gonna dump like the food in there. It's gonna be the bag that's gonna go in there so I no longer have to have it on this other shelf. So let's open that up and 
slide that in <laughs> as you can see and then I can put other little like their treat bags and things like that so that looks fantastic I'm really happy with it you guys I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and uh, sorry about uh, no video uh, being posted last night or early this morning but uh, this is it it's just a little vlog I hope that you enjoyed um, how this um, little potato or tater uh, box transformed into a storage for my pet food and that you're inspired to to do something similar like if you have something at home and you know you're not using it for anything but you know why not use it for you know I mean instead of actual potatoes or food or whatever it's for use it for something else I think this is a great idea for storage so there you go you guys and if you you're able to build something this is very simple it's really pretty so maybe you can do that okay you guys thank you all very much make sure you leave a nice or kind comment down below and let me know what you think uh, do you have something that you think you're going to transform? You have an idea for something else maybe that you that you're going to do And if you have any suggestions for me go right ahead and leave those also uh, Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. We've I've got 49,000 subscribers and I didn't even know it you guys But thank you very much And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the red subscription button the subscribe button And then a little bell will pop up and go ahead and hit that too and just say all just notify you of all my videos which come out twice a week thank you all very much please follow my facebook trisha's creations the link is down below make sure you share on your social medias be kind respectful please spread the love and as always enjoy